Hi everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Jom Night Bus on YouTube. It's early on Saturday morning and I am here at Bugis MRT station and I'll be travelling with City Line Travel who have just launched a new service to Malacca and their maiden trip is happening today. I am so looking forward to this trip as this new service will be operated using their Volvo B11R double decker coach which is also Singapore's first and only Volvo B11R double decker coach registered today. So, if you also wish to find out more on this service and the coach, stay with me till the end of the video. I'm now walking towards the taxi stand at exit D of Boogie Station on the downtown MRT line. It's about 6.45 am now and the bus is scheduled to depart at 7.15 am. I like to be early for my trips because I don't like to rush and being late will only cause inconveniences to other passengers and may disrupt the journey itself. This taxi stand is also a boarding and a lighting point for another Malaysian coach operator, KKKL Express and is directly connected to Bugis Downtown Line Station as well as Andas Singapore Hotel, making this point one of the most convenient and accessible points in the city, especially if you are a visitor to Singapore and crossing to Malaysia via the express coach service. Here comes PA928D, the coach that will bring me to Malacca today. I'm now on board the bus and I've booked seat number 1 on the left or which I call this the Ganzel seat. It is my preferred seat and will always try to get this seat if it's a double decker coach. It's 7.15am now and the bus has already departed Bugis MRT and they are on time. Uh, there were only three passengers who boarded at Bugis, including myself. I was told that the bus will skip Suntec City and will head directly to Jurong East to pick up the remaining passengers on today's trip. Uh, I happened to check the Easybook app last night and there were about 22 seats remaining available for booking. That means I can expect about 15 passengers to board the bus at Jurong East. Let me share more about my trip today. So a couple of weeks ago, I happened to caught sight of a promotional poster on Easybook app on a new operator that will serve the super popular Singapore to Malacca route. And on the poster was a photo of the B11R coach. So that got me all hyped up as I have been wanting to ride on this particular double decker for as long as it has existed. I first discovered this coach when I was at Genting Highlands in 2014 and back then it did regular ad hoc charters on behalf of WTS Travel. So finding an opportunity to ride on it was almost next to impossible because of its unpredictable deployment and schedule. But thanks to the new owner Cityland Travel, it's now possible to ride on this rare machine. So it didn't take me long to decide and I quickly booked a seat using the Easybook app to enjoy the promotional fare. I should commend Cityline Travel for sending out a WhatsApp message the night before to remind me of my upcoming trip, thus confirming that the coach will indeed be the Volvo Double Decker. It's about 7.40am now and we are ahead of schedule for our arrival at Jurong East. This will be the only other pickup point in Singapore before heading straight to Malacca. At Jurong East, passengers will board the bus at Bay 5 along Venture Avenue, which is a stone's throw away from Jurong East MRT station. This is also a pickup and alighting point for other operators into Malaysia, such as Transtar Travel, WTS Travel and KKKL Express, as well as Causeway Links Services, CW3 and CW4 to Johor. Okay, it's 7.45am now 
slightly ahead of the scheduled departure time of 7:50 a.m. Uh, all the remaining passengers have boarded, and the bus will now proceed to Johor via the Tuas Second Link crossing. Hopefully, this translates to an on-time arrival, or better, an early arrival in Malacca. Nonetheless, since this is a Saturday morning, I am not that optimistic, and in fact, I am expecting a delay. No thanks to the congestion at both the Singapore and Malaysia border checkpoints. We are now approaching Tuas checkpoint and we can already see a line of buses entering the checkpoint complex. This is actually a typical occurrence on weekend mornings here at Tuas checkpoint. But the congestion here can get even worse on long weekends and holiday season. So here at the Tuas checkpoint, uh, all passengers will have to disembark with their travel documents but they may choose to leave their luggage and belongings on the bus. But personally, I would advise you to bring all your personal belongings and valuables with you for the immigration clearance. Okay, I'm now back on the bus and I have just cleared the immigration at the Singapore side. Uh, it's about 8.50 am now. Uh, the bus arrived at about 8 am just now. So it did not take more than an hour to clear, which is pretty fast, I must say. Uh, just hoping that the traffic at the Malaysia side is just as smooth and fast. So all 18 passengers have cleared immigration and boarded the bus. So we will now cross over to Johor on the second link bridge. We are now crossing the second link bridge. Uh, this bridge, which is also known as the Malaysia-Singapore Second Link, opened to the public on 2nd January 1998. It was built to alleviate the infamous massive jams on the causeway, which links woodlands in northern Singapore with Johor Bahru in Malaysia. The distance between the Tuas checkpoint in Singapore and the Sultan Abu Bakar Immigration Customs, Quarantine and Security Complex in Malaysia is approximately 6 kilometers. It is linked to the Air Raja Expressway or AYE in Singapore and the Link Kedua Expressway in Malaysia. These two expressways also form part of the Asian Highway Network. So most of the long distance coaches that operates between Singapore and Malaysia will use the second link.
As expected, the congestion at the car arrival lanes have already formed up way before the complex itself. So let's see if the bus arrival lanes are choked up or not. It does seem that there is also a congestion at the bus arrival lane, just not sure how bad it is as I can't see the line in front of the Starmat Express bus that you can see here. Okay, so there wasn't a congestion at the bus lanes at all. Uh, we were stuck a few moments ago as there were cars lining up ahead of us making it impossible for the buses to enter the bus arrival hall. Okay, here we are at the Malaysian Immigration. Just remember to bring along your luggage and bags for the immigration clearance here. Okay, I'm now back on the bus after clearing the Malaysia Immigration. To my surprise, the delay did not materialize at all. I was expecting to spend at least an hour here at the Malaysia checkpoint but it only took 15 minutes to clear so that's super super fast. So it's now 9.20am and the bus is moving off to Malacca. As per Malaysian regulations, all tour buses from Singapore must be accompanied by a registered tour guide upon entering Malaysia. As this bus is a licensed tour bus from Singapore, a tour guide have joined us at the Malaysia checkpoint. And as told by the tour guide, the bus will make a stop at Yongping in Northern Johor for a 30 minute break. Let's get to know more about this service. As per Easybook's schedules, this service operates daily and will have three boarding points in Singapore. Bugis MRT Station, Suntec City Convention Centre and Venture Avenue in Jurong East. In Malacca, passengers can choose to alight at three points as well, Casal del Rio Hotel, Hatton Hotel, which is super popular with Singaporeans, or Straits Hotel and Noble Resort. Cityline Travel is currently running a promotion through the end of October 2022, offering return tickets for a special price of only $54. Typically, a non-stop service to Malacca would take about 5 hours, but with the additional rest stop at Yongping, we can expect this journey to take about 6 hours overall. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that this route to Malacca is super popular even before the pandemic began. Both Express Coach and Tour companies operate multiple daily trips into Malacca and the biggest operator based on the number of trips operated daily is currently 707 Inc, a long-time operator of Express Coach services between Singapore and Malaysia. There are also other Express Coach operators such as KKKL Express, the Lima Express, Super Nice Grassland Express, Transstar Express, and Starman Express. And of course, Singapore based tour companies such as WTS Travel, Superior Tours, Luxury Coach, and more recently, Cityline Travel. Let me now take you on a short tour of the bus. Uh, here on the upper deck, there are 31 seats in total. These super VIP seats are manufactured by Dam Rong Silk from Thailand which can be reclined but are not equipped with personal entertainment systems. Let me show you how the seat looked like in the reclined position. Let's go over now to the lower deck. Okay, here at the lower deck, there are only 9 seats fitted. These seats are similarly configured in the Super VIP configuration as the seats on the upper deck. Uh, there are no toilets on the bus, which is now uncommon on long distance buses in Malaysia. Boarding and alighting activities is done through this common door, which is connected to the staircase to the upper deck.
This bus is registered PA928D and is a Volvo B11R 6x2 double decker coach with bodywork supplied by SC Auto in Singapore. The chassis code B11R translates to B which stands for bus, 11 being the engine capacity which is 11 liters and R indicates that it is rear engine. It is powered by the Euro 5 Volvo D11C engine with a whopping 450 horsepower and coupled with the 12 speed Volvo I shift automated gear changing system. The bus itself is about 11.5 meters long and about 4.2 meters high. Hello, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 25 minutes stop. Please check your time. We stop 25 minutes here yeah? and please come back to the bus on time. And everybody have to get down. Okay, Taja. Okay, as announced by the tour guide just now, we will be stopping here at Ming Ang Restaurant at Yongping, where we will take a 25 minute break. Okay, here we are now at Ming Ang Restaurant. Uh, previously, there were two restaurants operating here at Yongping. One is Ming Ang, where we are right now, and Lucky Gardens, which was the biggest of the two. Sadly though, the latter closed down not too long ago, and it's a victim of the COVID-19 pandemic. So here at Ming Ang, you can choose to have your meals or just to stretch out from sitting too long on the bus. There are a number of stalls selling foods such as Chinese cuisine, Malay cuisine like nasi lemak, uh, burgers, noodles and light snacks. Uh, the food sold here are slightly pricier than regular stalls outside but they do serve decent food. There's also a local product shop situated within the restaurant where you can purchase locally made food products. There's also a telecommunications kiosk where you can purchase SIM cards and other mobile peripherals. Being the only restaurant operating at this moment, many of the tour buses and express buses will make a rest stop here. So if you are travelling from or to Singapore, there's a high chance that your bus will make a stop here. Some buses leaving or arriving Johor Bahru will also stop here for their rest breaks. Okay, the bus has just returned from refueling, so that means we will continue the journey into Malacca very soon. Alright, it's now about 11.50am, we are now continuing with our journey to Malacca. From here, it should take about 1.5 hours to reach Malacca city centre. Most buses entering Malacca will go via the I Kero exit, but I have observed that there's an increasing number of drivers from Singapore opting to go via the Jasin exit instead, which is further south than I Kero. This is a supposedly faster route into Malacca, because Ayakaro is notorious for its massive congestion on weekends. Cityline Travel has been operating since 2016 and they offer chartered and shuttle bus services in Singapore and outbound to Malaysia. More recently, they began operating scheduled services to Malacca and is planning to launch services to resorts world Genting during the year-end school holidays. They even operated daily services to Kuala Lumpur before the pandemic.
As expected, our coach captain has decided to go via Jasin. It's about 12.40pm now and this route should take about 30 to 40 minutes before reaching Malacca city centre. Personally, I kind of prefer this route because the roads here winds through rural Malacca, not usually seen along the highway. We are now travelling along Leboh AMJ and inching closer to Malacca. Okay, so as announced by the tour guide, the bus will be stopping at Uber Resort or Straits Hotel first uh, before proceeding to Hatton Hotel. So the last stop for this uh, service will be at Casa del Rio Hotel. Okay, Nobel and Straits Hotel, Nobel and Straits Hotel, thank you. Okay, 
Okay, and we have reached Hatton Hotel in Melaka. There you have it, my ride on the Volvo B11R double decker coach. I truly enjoyed my journey and I do recommend this service for you, for you guys who are planning a trip to Melaka. Do leave your thoughts and comments below and if you have any suggestion on which bus I should try out next, let me know in the comments as well. Till my next bus trip, I'm Isha signing off for Jom Night Bus. I'll see you in the next video.